Hi, Brandon here from Songwish, and we're introducing a new Remedy Expansion MIDI pack. It's called SW Jazz Complete, organized in volumes 1 to 11, and it's all the jazz chord progressions you'll ever need. The complete set contains 1,100 files in 11 volumes. Each volume contains 100 jazz block chord progressions in MIDI format. Volume 1 is free and is included in the 2.03 update of Remedy 2. These MIDI files can be dragged into any DAW, but why not just use Songwish's Remedy 2, a MIDI sampler VST? Remedy 2 can load these MIDI files with some convenient features to play and edit them with. As you can see, these block chords occur on every quarter note. This means the progressions may sound a bit rushed, but this allows Remedy to consistently extract the chords so they can be mapped to your keys. Here's how it works in Remedy. Alright, so we have an instance of Remedy 2 open, and you can see in the Remedy 2 folder, we changed the organization of the MIDI files. So now you'll see that everything's in SW MIDI, and you'll have your factory MIDI, which you're familiar with if you own Remedy 2. Those are all the, the royalty-free uh, MIDI files we have in the factory MIDI. And now we have an SW Expansion MIDI folder. That's where you'll see the first volume of the SW Jazz Complete, and it gives you the first hundred files of the full pack. So now that we're in edit of a pad, we're able to load one of these files, and let's just choose uh, SW Volume 1 8 C Major. And you'll see that Remedy starts off in the default state of having size 4 which is four beats or four quarter notes, which comes to one bar in four, four time. And you'll see that there is a four, four time signature here and it's in C major. We have that shown in the MIDI view. And now that we loaded the file, we can start to, you know, play slices. But now the beauty of Remedy is we can actually chop up all these chords in a consistent manner since they're all taking up one quarter note each. So if I go to the size and make it one quarter note, you'll see that it just has one chord at a time. Which is great. But you see that they actually loop. So if you want, you can freeze each chord and now they can last indefinitely for as long as you hold down a note on your keyboard. something. So you're probably wondering how I have the MIDI routed to the instruments. Right now you can hear the piano and the bass instrument and this is actually all happening on a single track with one remedy. So now if you go look into the slice parameters or sorry the filter parameters we have the track one and we have all these MIDI channels but only really the first five are used. You can see that you can take away or add back notes with the filtering of channels and um, you'll see that two, three, four, and sometimes five, but um, generally one to five are going to be the channels that you can choose to route into your instruments or your multis, be it in contact or omnisphere, however you want to route, out, route up your instruments. But here now, if we go look into our contact instrument, our multi, yeah, so in our multi we have substance, which is a bass instrument, and we're routing channel one to this instrument. So if we just solo, it's just, I'm pressing different keys now, and it's triggering only the bass out of those chord stabs in Remedy. But then now, if we unsolo and we look down to our piano instrument, which is receiving MIDI channels on Omni, then we get all the rest of the channels in the chord. So now we have all the chord and the bass that goes underneath. And 
And that's it. Thank you for supporting us. And we'll continue to come out with these exciting music production tools. 